Said bring the camera. Okay. That's unreal. Do we got one? Oh yeah, we got one, boy. So when we're going through that, the easiest way is just to go through the knuckle since we cut it that way. He ain't small. Oh yeah. What's up everybody? It's uh, Jesse, Slot City Fishing. Uh, got something pretty cool in store for today. Uh, if you hadn't seen, we recently started a Facebook group. Uh, there's not many channels that have a Facebook group, but started the group and uh, like a quarter of my subs joined the Facebook group and they're all talking to each other and stuff now, which is freaking cool. But anyway, I made a post and said, if anybody would like to go fishing in Jack's, hit me up, I wanna do a subscriber video. And I had a whole bunch of people get back to me. Uh, so today we're loading up, doing something I don't do very often and that's surf casting with a man named Chip Brundage. And uh, he has a friend with him. So they're at Volano Beach right now. I had to wait for my daughter to get on the school bus. But yeah, we're gonna stop by the bait shop down there in Volano and then hit the surf. Hello. You guys got shrimp? Yeah. Awesome. Three different flavors. Which one's yours? Three different flavors? Yeah. Of shrimp? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> Live, fresh candy. <laughs> I thought you were like tiger shrimp. Like what? I had a little garlic and salt, pepper, lemon butter. <laughs> uh, Y'all got fish bites? Yes, sir. What we have left currently is hanging up on the water in my blood. Perfect. Then I'll get some of your uh, shrimp. Okay, 375 a dozen, $15 for 50, 25 for 100. Uh, I'm gonna get a fresh dead actually. Okay. Yeah, I'll get a, a pound. All I'll right. take one of your cards. Yeah, please do. I got a, a big YouTube channel, man. I'm gonna put you on the video if that's cool. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, like us on Facebook. We always say what we have for bait when it's coming in, and we constantly update our Facebook with the bait. Oh, yeah? yeah? Okay. So you'll always know what we have and what we haven't. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, I'm Jesse. Jesse, I'm Erica. Very All right. nice to meet you. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. All right. Give old Chip a call. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? It's Chip. Hey, what's up, Chip? What happened? Hey, uh, Are you about here? Yeah, man. We're rolling uh, past the big condos down here. Okay. Coming up from uh, the south. We went to Hammock Bay Bait Shop. So pull in right there. Uh, you'll see the two trucks on the right-hand side of the road. Okay. You'll see the rods. Cool, man. All right. All right, we'll see you in a bit. We'll see you in a little bit. Yep, right, bye. later. What's up? What's up, man? How's it going? Good. Jesse. Welcome to the beach, Jim. Yeah. Dude, the water looks great. A little dirty but uh, Well, it looks a lot cleaner than it does uh, up north. Yeah. That's awesome. It'd be a good day for a kayak. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you already got a, a pop in the cooler, you said? You see? Yeah, dude. Introduce myself to your wife. Oh, yeah. This is my wife, Lauren. <laughs> Chip. Hi. Me too. <laughs> dude, this is Jason. Hi. What's up, man? Oh, it's all good. That's about to be me, too, Jesse. This is my Hi, wife, Lauren. Lauren. Nice to meet you. I apologize, I didn't send it in my life, so it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Already got me in trouble, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, you having a good day. Three, four, five, ready. Pompano came from the other place, but here... Jason's on. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's Jason's first Pompano. His first Pompano. Are y'all like in the first trough? You probably got them st staggered, don't you? Yeah, we we were we fished both the first trough. I've got the um, fish bites, sand clam on the top, clam on the bottom, with uh, salty clam uh -huh. uh, on this one and uh, the second rod. And then we got crab uh, knuckles on the outside too. We did some uh, sand clam on the 
the dog clam on the bottom, uh, fish bite. Nice. One more we'll get set up, man. All right. All right, dudes, this is what we're using for our rig. Four ounce Sputnik weight. It's a one-aught owner mosquito hook for Pompano. Tied on a double drop rig. The barrel swivel. It's a 40 pound mono, and I think it's 60 pound uh, braid with a live liner reel on a 12 foot battalion. Let's get it. <laughs> what? She ain't about it, man. He said bring the camera. I'll get it. No way! What? That's unreal! That's crazy, dude! Oh man, I want to help him. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> That's amazing, man. I've never seen that before. Come on, little buddy. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. That was Did y'all see where he came from? Just came up yeah. off the beach, one of these, and just came on down. I've never seen that before. That was amazing. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh. Do we got one? Oh, yeah, we got one, boy. Oh yeah. You ain't small. Redfish boy. Hey man, he's not a keeper. But this little guy might have just saved my video. Little 15 incher. <laughs> yeah. He's cute. Yeah man, look at him. This one particularly. Yeah. All right. Let this guy go. Where's your mom? Where's your mom? He's off. And it's one piece. Um, what is two? He's three. And this piece on the end, I don't really use very much, so I just cut that whole knuckle off. Boom, boom. Milwaukee pliers, you can get them at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, or one of the two. Perfect. Man. They rusted, but they work perfect. Yeah. And we'll uh, show you how to put them on the hook. Yeah, let's do it. So when we're going through that, the easiest way is just to go through the knuckle since we cut it that way. And you want to secure the bait 
So you want to go through the hard and with the with your hook, it's got to be careful just not to really hurt you. You to go through your own finger, but it's pretty hard. It just hmm. goes right through there and displayed very well. So yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna go down here and show you how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, that's the Coast Guard C-130 looking for those boats. Yeah, totally. He's looking for that boat. Yeah, that's what we were just saying. We think probably. Is. Oh, he totally is. Yeah. Well, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, I got one redfish. Saw a baby sea turtle and uh, the Coast Guard C-130. So, not the craziest day of fishing, but still super fun. So, thanks for having me, man. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate I really you. appreciate it. Yeah. We'll catch you guys later. See you. Bye now. What's up? Did you have fun? It was a blast. <laughs> Are you for real? No. <laughs> you know you had fun. It was fun. What did you think of that turtle? It was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! No! <laughs> so, made it back to the house. Do a quick recap of the day. Uh, that was the first subscriber meetup. I asked on Facebook if any followers, subs, wanted to meet up and go fishing. A bunch of y'all rogered up, man. And Chip Brundage uh, ended up chatting with him. We did some surf casting down, down the coast. Uh, we were gonna fish at Volano. He did for a couple hours. They caught a nice keeper pompano and a bunch of whiting. Then they ended up moving to Matanzas. I got called in for random urinalysis, so I had to go into the hangar, do the whiz quiz, pass, and then I met them down there uh, on the beach. Uh, we set up, I had four rods out with shrimp and fish bites on. They were using crab knuckles, cut bait, shrimp, fish bites. And uh, they caught a couple more whiting while I was out there. And uh, a hardhead catfish, I caught one, nothing, nothing crazy, but still super good day. I learned a lot of cool stuff, how to cut the crab knuckles. He showed me how to tie a new fishing rig. Uh, he's also the sinker guy. Superior, this is yours. Oh yeah, you're the sinker guy. Oh man, I actually, been looking for these i don't know if you guys have heard of him i'll put a link in the description uh he showed me his sinkers that he makes and man they are top notch probably some of the best ones i've ever seen they're all stainless steel they have the little swing bar so when they get stuck in the sand when you pull it they flip that way it's like no drag coming back in like a regular sputnik you gotta freaking pull it uh, they're good they're good weights man and uh it's local shop local and he's also a guide so uh, when this cold snap happens in October, the pompano and the red should be running and probably trout too uh, in the surf. So once that starts happening, man, if you need a guy to go out and take you surf casting, hit him up, man. Uh, he definitely knows what he's doing. Probably one of, if not the best surf, surf fisherman I've ever met. But yeah, that wraps up the video, man. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see more of the local sub follower, videos let me know in the comments join the facebook group uh, because if you're in jacksonville south texas or pensacola and some areas of south louisiana we got a lot of connections down there man uh, we can teach you about the areas very specific spots introduce you all to people that can help you out uh, gear tackle whatever just join the group and you guys can interact with each other also um, you know you guys know more about your local spots than i do so talk to each other. Y'all can meet up and go fish and whatnot. It's just a good place, a good time is what I'm trying to tell you. So anyway, I'm gonna quit running my mouth. I'm gonna try to edit this video and get it out as quick as possible, that way it's still relevant. So uh, yeah, until next time, tight lines everybody.